this is the 2012 Ford Fusion. And in 2012, Ford sold about 250,000 of these things, which is kind of a lot. But now in the future, Ford's going to be discontinuing all of their sedans, except for the Mustang, in favor of producing more SUVs and trucks, which is a shame because this is a really nice car. Now, one of the things I really like about this car is the design. You know, it's not Corvette cool, but I think that for a mid-sized car, it still looks really nice. I love the roof line of the car, the grill, the wheels on this trim level of the car. I just think it's a really well put together design. It's also very nice on the inside of this car too. Uh, the seats are very comfortable and in my car they're heated, which is very nice with this uh, weather. This car also has the Moon and Tune package, which is Ford's way of combining both a moonroof and Ford's sync system. Now the Ford sync system, you know, back in 2012 was kind of cool. It was a voice activated system where you could plug in your MP3 player or connect to Bluetooth. Uh, but nowadays that's kind of standard equipment, it's not really that fancy. This car also has automatic windshield wipers. It's horrible. They don't work properly. You put it on the first setting, which is like the lowest sensitivity, and sometimes it'll start going and other times the whole windshield will just be covered in water and it's just not doing anything. Another really cool feature about this car is it has ambient lighting. So there's LED lights that are in the cup holders. There's little LED lights on the sides of the center console facing the floor of the car. And you get to choose what color you want the car accented in. One thing that I really like about Fords is a lot of them have a keypad on the door so you can unlock it without using your key or your remote. The keypad's nice just in case you don't have your keys on you or you wanted to lock them in the car for every reason or you accidentally lock them in the car. You can type in your five digit code, and I gotta tell you, it's come in handy quite a bit. This car has a lot of nice safety features uh, for standard stuff that you can find on most new cars. You got analog brakes, traction control, stability control, but it also has blind spot detection, a backup camera, and rear parking sensors. The backup sensors are very nice. They're located in the bumper of the car, and they beep as you get closer to an object, so it just gives you a nicer peace of mind. What's also nice is the blind spot detection so that is shown in a little light on the side mirrors. It also lets you know when you're in reverse, if there's cars coming behind you, it'll start beeping very rapidly in the back. It's very convenient, and I gotta admit, I'm becoming a little too dependent on this technology. This car has the 2.5 liter four cylinder engine paired with a six speed automatic transmission, putting out about 175 horsepower. Gas mileage is 23 city, 33 highway with a combined average of about 26 miles per gallon, which is not bad. It, it It's a fairly zippy car, I'm not gonna call it fast, but uh, it, it can certainly get out of its own way. This car handles very nice. The steering is really tight, and it's not a sports car by any stretch, but certainly is fun to drive, I will give it that. Back seat room in this car is very roomy. Uh, the leather is very nice, uh, very cold in the winter, uh, not a fan of that, and very hot in the summer. So, you know, once the car cools off, it's comfortable. This generation of the Fusion certainly doesn't look as modern as a lot of the newer sedans out there, but I still think it looks really cool, and you can definitely find them for a lower price than some of the other competition. Overall, I have to admit, I really do love this car. It's comfortable, fun to drive, the sound system's nice, and I just love the way it looks. And I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a nice mid-size sedan. These cars really aren't that expensive. And so far for this year that I've owned it, it's been very reliable. I really recommend it. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.